My First Bible presents Joseph the Dreamer Israel, previously named Jacob, finally arrived at his home knowing that Esau had forgiven him after everything. He and his brother had made it just in time to see their father Isaac before he passed and was then buried. Esau went off to start his own life in the land of Edom. Israel and his family left for Bethel. During the trip, Rachel, the wife that Israel loved the most, died giving birth to a second son, who Israel named Benjamin. After some time, Israel stayed in the home that had belonged to his parents. There he raised his twelve children. Israel loved Joseph and Benjamin the most because they were the most obedient, and they were the sons of Rachel. This made his other children jealous. One day, Israel made an elegant and very colorful tunic for Joseph. Joseph was very surprised. Having a new tunic was very special. When his siblings saw the gift, they began to hate him and wouldn't even say hello to him. One morning, Joseph woke up startled. He had had a very strange dream. It seemed so real. He had to tell someone. Excitedly, Joseph went to look for his brothers. I had a very strange dream, said Joseph. We were all out in the field, trying to make bundles of wheat. Suddenly, my bunch rose up and stood straight, while all yours made a circle around and bowed to it. The other brothers became angry. Who do you think you are? You are no king. None of us will ever bow down to you. The next day, Joseph had another dream, and he went to tell his brothers. Listen, Joseph told them. I had another dream. This time, the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowed to me. Blah, 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 blah. Upon hearing him, Israel became very serious and said to Joseph, Are you trying to say that we will prostrate ourselves before you? He asked. Don't be too proud of yourself, Joseph. Later, Joseph's siblings went to feed their father's sheep. Israel said to Joseph, Joseph, I want you to go to the place where your brothers led the flock of sheep. Make sure everything is okay. Then come back and tell me everything you've seen. Okay. And that is what Joseph did. After some time, he saw his brother's campsite. Huh? Hey! When they saw him, they became angry. Here comes that dumb dreamer Joseph. Let's kill him, and we can say a savage animal ate him, and then we'll see how his <laughs> dreams end. No, wait, said the eldest brother Reuben. Throw him in that pit, but don't kill him. Reuben said this because his plan was to rescue Joseph and return him to their father. Joseph reached his brothers with a smile on his face. But when he saw their faces, he stopped smiling. Oh no. His brothers jumped on Joseph and ripped off his elegant tunic. They picked him up and threw him into a dry and dark pit. Joseph screamed, but it was useless. He fell to the bottom. At that moment, Judah saw a caravan of slave traders and he suggested to his brothers, let's sell Joseph to them. We don't gain anything by killing him. Reuben was not there to save Joseph. He was at the camp tending to the sheep. And so the other siblings agreed and they did it. They took Joseph out of the pit the slave traders paid 20 silver for Joseph, and they took him. When Reuben returned to the pit, he looked down and realized that Joseph was not there. He asked, 
What have you done to our brother? <laughs> Calm down, said Judah. Here's your part. Oh. He gave Reuben two silver coins. You sold him as a slave? Yes, and at this very moment our spoiled brother is on his way to oh. Egypt, said Judah. Reuben knew that this news would break Israel's heart. <sighs> the next day, the brothers stained Joseph's tunic with goat's blood. They showed the tunic to Israel, and they told him that a wild animal killed Joseph. And Israel cried for his son whom he loved. While this was happening, Joseph was taken as a slave to Egypt. The story of Joseph was only just beginning.